Allow me this morning to speak on a subject about one person, you. Let me speak this morning about you. Hallelujah. That's the title. You. Hallelujah. If I'm pointing to myself, I say me. Hallelujah. If I'm looking at you as I say you. Hallelujah. That's the subject I want to speak on this morning. Have you ever wondered what kind of a world we live in? A world of populists. Hallelujah. We hear about populist culture. Hallelujah. We hear about naturalists. We hear about modernists. Now, this world that we are living in is a world of beasts. It is also a world of business. Hallelujah. Modernism, populist, a world of beasts and the world of isms. It is the world of competing discourses. A world where things are put into you. And the main aim is to change the course of your destiny. That's the main purpose. translated in a Greek word called cosmos, which means yes, the earth and the system of its rulership. The earth and the system of its rulership. Hallelujah. We all know who rules the world. That the devil was thrown onto earth. And the Bible says, woe unto you, earth. Because the devil has been thrown there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the world of East and the world of Isms is a distinct system that is meant to derail your destiny to heaven. It is not meant for anything else. It is meant to be ready. Hallelujah. Let us look at a few things here. Modernism, they aim to depart from traditional beliefs. They want to start their own thing. Hallelujah. We look at feminists, they advocate for women's rights. Hallelujah. Not a bad thing. Hallelujah. Oh. Nationalists, they advocate for a new political dispensation. But many dispensations that we know of have derailed our destiny. Oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Globalists say that let's plan the world so that the world is based on a global scale, not on individual nations. Oh. Neither say no this, they say let's go naked. It's our freedom to take off our clothes and to walk naked. Populists, if you ever heard of popular culture, hallelujah, it's what is trending, what is now, what is trending now, hallelujah.
a world that is aimed at influencing you. Stay with me. Stay with me. Amen. 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 It is a world of confusion. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. And we all know why. Like I said in the beginning, Revelation 4, verse 12 says, But woe unto you and the sea. Because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury. Because he knows that his time is short. Yes. His time is short. Yeah. Let me say to you this morning, the voice that you allow to be the loudest in you is what rules you. Yes. The voice that you allow to be the loudest in your subconscious is what rules you. Hallelujah. And what that you think this morning? Is it the message about you this? If that is what is ruling in your subconscious, then it is ruling you. Hallelujah. If it is post positive, uh, positive it, it is ruling you. Hallelujah. If it is popular culture, it is ruling you. Hallelujah. So the voice that you allow to be loudest. Is the one that rules you. But here is my pitch this morning. I want you to get Paul, the man of God, speaking to his son Timothy. And this is a subject that I'm going to this morning. Yes. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 10. Let's go there together. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 25, verse 9. 9 
everything that you are from God. Hallelujah. I want you to think about this this morning. That you, men of God, you, woman of God, you, child of God, you, youth of God, you are not of this world. You must join us. You are passing through. No, where you stand. Don't let the world derail your destiny. Mm -hmm. Know that you will purchase by the precious blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And know that the world and all its systems will pass away. Ah. And only what is done for Christ will remain. Hallelujah. The world and its systems, its isms and beasts will pass away. But only what is done for Christ Amen. will last. Know that you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but imperishable. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through the living and joy word of God. That is what gave birth to you. Through the enduring and living word of God. It gave birth to who you are. So I want you to know Timothy this morning. I want you to, to know my son Timothy this morning. That you, you, you are God's child. I want you to know the Deborah of today. That you are a woman of God. I want you to know the Sarah of this world that you are born again. The system of the world, though it is roots everywhere, but know who you are. Don't flow. Don't go with the flow. Don't go with the crowd. Hallelujah. Don't go with the crowd. Know who you are. Know where you stand. No. Whom you have been. Job says, I know whom I believe. For I know whom I believe. I know. Yes. The world and its systems may, may go easy, may go easy. But I know whom I believe. Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that ever ask or imagine. Paul is speaking to his son. <coughs> he says, flee from these things. The world is threatening and stairs. Because it's you who is different. Hallelujah. Flee youthful passions and lusts. 2 Timothy 2, verse 22. Job actually said in the word of God that I made a covenant with my eyes. That I would look at it, a girl with lustful eyes. Sometimes you need to make a covenant with some of your lips. Are you getting what I'm saying? Sometimes you need to make a covenant with some of your lips. Don't make your lips just do what they want. Job said I made a covenant with my eyes. That I will not look at a girl with lustful eyes. Flee fornication, just for in the chapter 6, 18. You, my son, you, Timothy, you who is different, you who is born by the blood of Jesus, flee fornication. Flee the love of money. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Hallelujah. Flee covetousness. Because it will cause your defeat. You remember back and see when he converted the cow. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. And it actually affected the whole assembly of the Israelites. Yes. Amen. Yes. He had not made a covenant with his eyes. Yes. He looked at something that attracted him and ended up taking that and put that in his house. And sin was in the Israelite camp. 
Hallelujah. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4 7. Resist the devil. You, my son, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Don't let him just touch you. Do anything he wants. Resist him and he will flee from you. Amen. 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 But I urge you, my son, pursue righteousness and godliness. There are some things that you've got to run away from. Hallelujah. There are some things that you've got to pursue. Hallelujah. You didn't get that one. You didn't get that one. There are some things that you've got to run away from. Amen. Hallelujah. And there are some things that you must pursue. Hallelujah. Pursue righteousness. Yes. Pursue godliness, my son. Call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Pursue righteousness. Cleanse yourself of what is unfit. Be a vessel of honor. Sanctified. Useful to the master. Be a vessel of honor. Don't let every little girl just come to you and do what they want. Don't let every boy come to you and do what they want. Hallelujah. Ah, you are not getting what I'm saying. Wow. Cleanse yourself of what is unfit. Keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoiding profane and vain babblings. First one. First Timothy uh, chapter 6, verse 10, uh, verse 27. My son Timothy, you know all the things working with me. You have seen me doing this. You have seen me doing that. You have seen me avoiding that. You have seen all that. Very to flame the gift of God that is within you. There are many of us who let the gift of God that has been bestowed in us just smolder. It smolders. It smolders until it dies out. But you, my son, fail into flame the gift of God that is put in you. Don't let it smolder. Don't let it die. Fail it into flame. Hallelujah. If it is preaching, preach the word of God. If it is witness, witness the word of God. If it is singing here, sing the word of God. Hallelujah. Fend the flame, The gift of God that is in you. My son, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed. By the renewal of your mind. Let that mind be renewed. Let it just flow with the ease and easings of this world. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. Help me. Pursue faith, my son. Pursue faith. I said there are some things you run away from. There are some things that you've got to pursue. Amen. You go after. Now Paul is saying, pursue faith. Hallelujah. Find the good fight of faith. Uh, find the good fight of faith. There are some things that you have to fight for. It's not every battle that is worth fighting. Amen. It's not worth every battle that is worth fighting. There is a time to be silent. Yes. There is a time to confront. There is a time to yield. There is a time to say no. Fight the good fight of faith. Yes. In the end, you will hear Paul saying, I fought a good fight of faith. Ah, he himself is saying, I have fought a good fight of faith. I have run in the race. Wow. Pursue faith, my son. Dwell in the Lord. 
Leave the word. Spread the word. Be so faithful. Remain faithful to whom you believe. Don't let the peace and the easings of the world derail your destiny. My son, pursue love and gentleness. I know the pressures of this world. I know them. And you have seen me. Hallelujah. I know the pressures of this world. You know the pressures of this world. However, pursue love. Be gentle with each other. Amen. Bear each other's burdens. Don't only really show the human side. You have heard people saying, show the human side. No, I'm going to say today, show the God side. Yes. Hallelujah. Not only the human side, show the God side of you. Amen. Amen. We know what humans can do in their failures and their successes and their accomplishments. But you, my son Timothy, don't only show the human side, show the God side of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Treat each other with dignity and respect. Treat your fellow countrymen. Treat other people with dignity and respect. Amen. 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 He's pursuing love and gentleness. And godliness. Hallelujah. Lastly, Paul speaks to this young man. He knows the pressures that can derail young people today. He knows the pressures that can derail old men like me today. He knows the pressures that can derail women like you today. And he said, My son, I want you to persevere. I want you to persevere. Take hold of eternal life through endurance. Take hold of eternal life through endurance. Know that life is not an event. Life is a process. And we are going through things. As we walk into the process, as we pass through the process, we are going to walk into things. But my son, I want you to endure hardships. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. This morning, I want you to finish off by saying perseverance goes along with the discipline. So, Paul is saying, my son, discipline yourself. As you go through the process, discipline yourself. Yes. Yes. Many of us are not disciplined by the, the king. It's not discipline. That, that is not discipline. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Discipline yourself, my son. What, what, what did Paul mean? He said, forgo immediate pleasures. In order for you to attain ultimate oh, yeah. purposes. Amen. 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 Yes. He is saying, forgo immediate pleasures. Your flesh might need these pleasures. But forgo these pleasures so that you can attain ultimate purposes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If you want to pray your life today, let it pleasure mm -hmm. in the chain yes, yes, yes. If you want to drain your life, let every pleasure in the chain There are things for now, there are things for later. Mm. My son Timothy, forgo immediate pleasures so that you can attain ultimate purpose. Don't focus on the ease of this world, the easings of this world. I want you to know, my son Timothy, 1 John chapter 2, verse 17 says, The world and its desires will pass away, but only what is done for Christ 
will last. I finish off today. Jesus.